Okay, drop these Dunktober packs and they look absolutely crazy because yes, these packs contain three pink diamonds, one being this D-Wade who looks insane. Then there's also a pink diamond Giannis who looks like the best power forward in the game. And finally then, this is the best card in the game being Paul George. I didn't think this was gonna be the best card in the game, but let's just look at this real quick. He can play shooting guard. He's six foot eight at that position. And look at these stats, like 95 driving layup, 95 three, 97 driving dunk, 94 ball handle, insane defense, great rebounding, insane athleticism too. Like this is pretty much a Galaxy Opal. Then also 11 Hall of Fame badges. So literally if this was a Galaxy Opal, everyone would think these are Galaxy Opal stats. So I just want one of these pink diamonds so badly as we're yet to pull a pink diamond this year. As you can see too, there are a bunch of diamonds in these packs and these diamonds actually do look pretty good as well. Then there's a few amethysts. There's also a bunch of other cards that we don't really care for. So we've got a bit of VC now. Is that going to be all the VC I buy? Absolutely not. I'm going to try and trick 2k, spend this much and then buy some more. But yes, we've got these deluxe packs right here and you can see the odds of pulling a diamond is at 3.5% and a pink diamond is an under 1% once again. So the odds definitely aren't in our favor. And then for a 20 pack box, you can see it's 2.2% chance for a diamond and an under 1% chance for a pink diamond again. So we're going to need to be super lucky to actually get that pink diamond pull as man, I still haven't pulled one this year. Can you believe that? We're like a month into this game, but it's time now to actually spend this box. 142,000 VC, let's spend it. Come on 2K, let's make this happen. Let's make this happen and let's see an insane pull from these packs right here. Imagine if the first pack was actually a shake. Unfortunately, it's not. What an awful start, an awful start. Man, I do not want to start with Miles Bridges in pack number one. At least we go up to a Sapphire in the next pack. That one's going to be Nate Robinson. And also you guys may notice, this is a Friday pack opening where yes, I am actually in my setup, in my normal setup. If you guys don't know, I did do a barbecue buckets pack opening last week and I tweeted about it on Twitter, obviously to just say as we get Thanasis on to Kupo, is that a sign for Giannis? But yeah, I tweeted and just said the reason that I'm not uploading that video is because it was so bad. Literally, I spent a million VC and pulled absolutely nothing. I think I got two shakes the entire time and they were both just amethyst. So there was no point in uploading it. And then I had a big day the next day as it was the AFL Grand Final, which I thought was going to be one of the greatest days of my life. Unfortunately, it wasn't as, um yeah, I'm a Sydney Swans fan. I was at the game and it was a little bit disappointing, but... Speaking of disappointing, those packs were, these packs are disappointing so far too. As we know though, all it takes is one pack for everything to change. If we're just able to see that shake and for it to be a pink diamond, I don't care how much VC I spend in this pack opening. If we get one pink diamond, it's the best pack opening we've had all year. This one right here, our best pull was a Sapphire. Yeah, that's really bad. Also, you may notice too, if you come down in the challenges right here, it's not up just yet, which is a little bit confusing as we do have these Dunktober challenges, but these are just the normal challenges that we usually get per week. But you can see this screenshot right here, this weekend, you are actually able to try and obtain a 92 plus hidden gems player. I'm sure by the time you guys are watching this video, we'll know the challenges and we'll know how to do it. As I think it has something to do in the exchange and things like that too. I don't really know, but basically there's a big event going on this week. So hopefully that event's going to be a W and you guys know we've got a video coming on that tomorrow as well. But now we've only got 100,000 VC. Let's trick 2K, do one VC single. This is very weird for me to do a VC single at this time of the video, but 100,000 VC down and yeah, still just Emerald Pools. Dennis Smith Jr. Stay solid, my person. Looks like it's time to get some more VC. Be sure to smash that like button if you guys are enjoying, as these are obviously expensive videos to do. Okay, we've now got a bunch of VC, and I think now it's time to just get into another deluxe, bo deluxe box. So let's do this again. That first box was absolutely awful. Literally, all we got was a Sapphire Nate Robinson. That was our best pull. So surely, surely it's got to get better in this one right here. There's Sapphire Nate Robinson again. That was our best pull in our final, in our 10 packs of our last box. So surely it can get better. There's a Ruby. It's Anthony Edwards. Is that any better? I got to say no, not really. Um, Just shake. Please just do a shake for me, Thanasis. I have seen people on Twitter say somehow that the odds are a little bit better they think because like there's a lot more players on the auction house. For me right now, that is not showing up. We haven't seen a single shake. We haven't seen a single diamond. And we've almost done, we've done one and a half boxes. We get D Brown and now for number six, no shake again. Bro, what is going on right now? I'm literally just getting the same players every single time. Number seven is a Sapphire. Are we going to get a Ruby player? Rui Hachimura right there? Sure. We haven't even got a dark, Dunktober player. There we go. All right, it's a shake. I was going to get angry. Pack number eight is great. Is this the time? There is one Amethyst in these Dunktober packs. Okay, is this a player? Bro, it's just an Amethyst. I... 
That's a guarantee. Because we knew that that was a Dunktober player, I knew that this was just going to be an Amethyst. So who's the best Amethyst we can get? I seriously don't even know. Is it like Steph Curry, LeBron James, Western Conference, 89-3? It kind of looks like it could be Steph Curry. And guess what, ladies and gentlemen? It is going to be Steph Curry. I I guess I'll take it. I want that to be a Dunktober player though. All right, well, that's our best puller. Again, we're yet to pull a Dunktober player higher than a Sapphire. I actually can't believe I'm saying that. There's a goal. And now for the final pack of this Dunktober box, Dunktober Deluxe. We get a diamond. All right, that's saved. The box saved. One Amethyst, one diamond. We are happy. What diamond do I want the most? I feel like Kenyon Martin would be really good for us. I mean, Sean Kemp is always a beast and he's in these packs, so maybe him. I don't even know, but it's time for us to flip this and see what card we're actually going to get. Obviously, it's a Dunktober player, which is exciting no matter what. So let's see what card this is actually going to be. Diamond, make it a power forward for me. Eastern Conference, 90 post fade. That's surely, surely a power forward. And which one is it going to... It's Kenya Martin. Let's go. I think this is the card I wanted the most. Okay, I'm so happy with Kenya Martin. We definitely have to check him out, as that's a huge W from this box. All right, now we can send this to my auctions. We can send that to my auction. We can just send all the players. Why not? As now when you look at my team, obviously we can move this Jeff Green down here. We can take out LeBron James, and we can put in Kenya Martin. This card, what? He's a power forward center. He's 6'9", 97 on offense, 98 on defense. Yo, please say he's got a three ball, 79. Three. What is the... Yo, these stats are crazy. He's quick. This card looks insane. How many Hall of Fame badges? Only five. That's still so... They're great Hall of Fame badges. This card looks insane. What? Okay, it all comes down to this. It literally all comes down to us going to the freestyle. It all comes down to us checking out his release. I think he's... A, what? Okay, we, we pulled the best diamond. We pulled the best diamond for sure. He is on my team. If this card goes for under like 200,000 MT, I'm going to be shocked. And look, out of every single one of the diamonds, I feel like that's probably the best one we could have got. Finally, I'm actually happy with that box. And now it's time to do another one. And hopefully we can be even, ha even happier after this one. Why do I keep on stumbling on like the final word of each sentence? I actually have no idea. But Kills Moy YT opening up another box. We've seen two shakes in our last box. One was just an amethyst that was just a series one player, but the other one was a diamond and that's exactly what we want to see more of. So I'm happy with that. But why are these rubies like so hard to pull as well? We have seen so many... All right, all right. Please don't be a Dunktober player. Please be a series one. Good, good, good. All right, this is at least an amethyst or higher. There's only one amethyst of the Dunktober players. Imagine if this is a pink diamond. Bam! Oh, okay, it's just an amethyst. All right, fair enough. What um, what amethyst even is it? I kind of forgot. If you get 10 of these amethysts and put them into the exchange, you end up getting a 92 plus hidden gems player. So I guess that's kind of cool, but are we going to do that? Probably not. It's going to be, who is it? Um, Dominic Wilkins. Probably a really good card, to be honest. I'm personally not going to use him, though. But yeah, if we get 10 of him somehow in this pack opening, we will do a 92 plus. And back-to-back -back Amethyst, too. Is this going to be Dominic Wilkins once again? Is there only one Amethyst? I think it might only be Dominic Wilkins. And because this is a this is a diamond, no, a deluxe box, this is guaranteed to be a Dunktober player, which means it's guaranteed to be this Dominic Wilkins once again. Back-to-back -back Amethyst is good, great to see. All right, we will take that. We will take that. I said that I was happy in my last box with two shakes. Imagine if we're able to get three in our next box. This will be such a good pack opening. If we see three shakes in this box, that's all I'm looking for, 2K. And can I at least see a ruby in this box? Why do I see Nate Robinson so many times? It's actually insane. Number seven, just an emerald once again. Who's that? It's Miles Bridges. We don't want to see that. Ah, how about pack? What is it? Number eight. Number eight is great. It's again, just a gold. All right. We don't want to see the golds. It's the Narsis. We've pulled Nate Robinson for Narsis in every single box. So... This box isn't looking as great. Isn't looking as great as our last one as we did get a great diamond in that one. Okay, it's on pack number 10 once again. Let's just go straight over to it and see just an amethyst player. I mean, three Dominic Wilkins is actually pretty good. As I said, if we get 10 of him, we can lock him for a 92 plus. So we've got three in one box, which is definitely a W. He should sell for about 30,000 MT, which will definitely be nice. If we add that all up, that's 90K from this box. So I'll take three Dominic Wilkins. I think you know what time it is though. It's time to go into the triple threat park. Let's do this and let's use what, what version should I use? I'm going to use this version. And yes, you can see we have that logo right there. I still need to do a video on actually having my logo in the game, but now we're going to run over to the spot, the showcase spot, and we're going to open up a 10-pack box here. My best pull, I think, from this is like an Amethyst, or did I got Monte, Monte Ellis? I can't even really remember, but let's do a box. And let's hope this Dunktober Deluxe box can actually be good for us on the showcase spot, and this can be where we see our best 
pull ever because we're yet to pull something crazy from this. And I'm just imagining one day if we're able to get our best pull possible from the showcase spot. Could you imagine how crazy that will go and how crazy that'll be just showing off that card when it's above our head? We get a Ruby. Is this a Dunktober player? It actually is. It's our first time seeing small, small, small mile swift. I reckon he's going to be a monster. Don't quote me on that. Haven't seen his stats, but just looking at him, he looks like he's going to be good. But it's our first time seeing a Ruby player out of these packs. I actually can't believe I'm saying that, but yes, it's our first time. And we're going to have to see a shake in this box. We saw three shakes in our last box, two in our one before, but zero in our one before that. It's looking like we're back to a reset and it's looking like we might just see zero in the showcase spot once again. The amount of times we get bad packs in the showcase spot is kind of crazy. We get Kenyon Martin Jr. We do have his dad and we did have his dad when we pulled that diamond pool, which was great to see. But now for pack number nine in these packs, bro, this box is awful. Like so, so, so bad. Fred Jones and for the final pack of this box, am I happy with how the showcase spot has gone? The answer is absolutely not especially ending on that that was so bad do you reckon everyone in this triple threat park after watching that pack opening goes yep i'm gonna open up some packs the answer is no so 2k just slide some great packs for me all right let's just back out now let's just like back out even further i've got a little glitch so maybe it's telling me to close this out let's do that and what now let's just go back into my team and now it's time for another dunk toby deluxe box we've pulled one diamond in this pack opening so far that's it let's see if we can get one more like what i did that pack opening of the dukes of the dunks packs the other day and we were able to get two two diamonds, but they were two of the best diamonds we could have possibly got being Victor Oladipo. And I was so happy with that pack opening. That was my best pack opening so far of this year. And you won't believe it was only because I pulled two diamonds. I've heard people say, yep, I've pulled multiple pink diamonds in pack openings. Yes, I know it's under 1%, but man, I feel like my luck has been so bad. Let me know in the comment section down below, what's your best pull of this year? Because I am yet to pull a single pink diamond. I'm yet to pull a card worth over 500,000 MT. And for how many packs I open, trust me, that is crazy. And it's even crazier when you look at my team right now. My team is good. Okay, all right. Please don't be a Dunktober player. Please don't be a Dunktober. Like, that's so frustrating when you know that that's a Dunktober player and then just know that this is a Series 1 player. At least last time this happened, it was in roughly the same spot. It was Steph Curry, 89 close shot. Is that going to be Steph Curry? I don't think so. It looks like it's Nikola Jokic, which it is. Sure, we'll take that. We'll sell it. It's hollow as well. Nice. What was I even saying? I actually don't remember. But basically what I was trying to say is the fact that my team isn't even that crazy. Yes, we've got the Galaxy Open, Manu Ginobili. But literally compared to everyone else's team, people that have some crazy crazy good squads and my team isn't even that great compared to what we usually have at the start of years because at the start of 2k i've usually got the best team possible but now i just can't afford it because we're yet to get any good luck this year but the final pack of this dunktober deluxe box will it be good no, it's literally not at all. What is that? How many sapphires am I going to pull in this pack opening is a real question. We now don't have much VC remaining. But in good news, if we actually come over to this salary cap mode right here, you can see they updated if we go all the way to the end. It's now at 90 plus gems of the game player, which is nice to see. So does that mean they've updated other rewards? I'm not sure. I randomly have this 87 plus gems of the game pack. We'll open this up to see if we can get any good player. Unfortunately, I do have a lot of the Ruby players from this. So it is a guaranteed Ruby. Is it a good one? Desmond Bain. I don't think I have here. But now it's time for our final box. I can't believe how quickly we just blow through 900,000 VC, but let's send this final box. Like that's the thing, opening up packs just feels so quick because literally you just go through and if you don't get a shake, you're just flying through to the next pack every time. And given that it's only 10 pack boxes too, it feels like it goes by so quickly. But there we go with another diamond pull. I'm happy with Kenyon Martin again. I know Kenyon Martin's gonna go for a lot of MT. Andrew Wiggins is probably another card that I would actually use on my squad as my backup small forward, I think. So let's see what card this is actually going to be. Number two, let's flip it and see what player we are getting from these diamond pack right here. Let's see. Come on, make it a good one. Make it a good one. Western Conference, 88 mid-range shot. Is this Andrew Wiggins? It very much could be. And no, that's... Wait, is that... Donovan Mitchell. He's going to be nice. I don't think I'm going to use him because I like my point guards, but Donovan Mitchell is actually going to be a beast. And surely he'll go for a bit of MT. And that means too, if we're able to get, I think, two more diamonds, if we could just buy them off the auction house, we can lock in for a 92 plus pack. But the thing I have to think to myself, is a 92 plus pack actually worth spending a lot of MT to get right now? I don't know. Can we see two shakes in this box? The answer is yes, as we end up getting another Dominique Wilkins. We know exactly what player this is because... We didn't pull a Dunktober player. So watch this. It's going to say Western Conference. It's going to say, what, 90 driving dunk? 
guess what? It's Dominique Wilkins. But one more shake that's not an amethyst or diamond. I'm happy. You guys know what I'm asking for. Actually, all I want, all I want is just that pink diamond pool, especially with the players that are out in the packs right now. Like Giannis would just make it into the team. Paul George would be a perfect addition. Dwayne Wade would be insane. But it's looking like my luck is going to run a little low out of these boxes. And it's looking like it's going to be difficult for us to actually get that pull. There we go with another Ruby player. Finally, pack number nine. Number nine is fine all the time with what are we going to get in this one? Just a Sapphire once again. And now it's coming down to the final pack of the box. The amount of Sapphires we've seen is crazy in these boxes. And we don't end with a shake. That's all right. It's a gold and it's an emerald as well. I guess we can send this player to my auction. Send that, send that, send the rest, whatever. I don't even care. Let's quick sell the rest. Let's quickly come over and let's have a look at this Donovan Mitchell. Is he good? He's six foot one, which is obviously short. 88 three ball, 92 driving down. Good ball handle. His defense isn't great, but he's got great speed. And also, yeah, he's actually defense isn't bad. Then what? Two Hall of Fame badges. Yeah, I'm definitely not going to use this card. And there's a lot of him on the auction house. Like I have not been lucky to get these pulls. There are so many of him. Is there a lot of Kenyon Martin on the auction house? Um, no, let's go here. Yeah, look, there's a lot of him too. There's also quite a few Giannis's. Compared to what we see most weeks, this is a lot. Yeah, same for Paul George, actually. This is just making me more jealous. And D-Wade, which is probably the player I want the least, there's also a lot of him up as well. This Giannis only has five Hall of Fame badges. That's really interesting. Anyway, obviously, we still have a bit of VC. So let's just do some VC packs. Like, I, I'm not expecting a lot out of the VC singles, but you never know. This is where we could strike gold and we could see something good. If we get one shake out of these, I'm happy. Literally, that's all I want. I'm not even looking for anything crazy. I'm not even looking if I'm if I get an amethyst, as I said, I'm happy. But this one right here is a gold player, it's Thanasis. Please just think about your brother. I want your brother in these packs. I think we've got two more packs remaining after this one. So certainly not a lot to go, but Dunk Toba is not looking great. Like I thought this was going to be the one. I truly thought that we were going to pull a pink diamond today. And I truly thought it was going to be my best pack opening so far. But we're getting a gold once again. It's Fred Jones. And bro, now it's time for our final VC pack. 900,000 VC once again. I think this is about 6 million VC spent on this game so far for zero pink diamonds. And we end with a gold in the middle again. Are you kidding me? Why is this so bad? I actually don't get it. Like, look, I know it's under 1% odds, but that right there is awful. Let's do one MT single. I know these aren't even deluxe packs, so it's even less of common that we're going to get something good out of this, but maybe this is the way to go. And maybe just the MT pack is the way to do it. Why do I keep on getting cards like that? I'm going to go one more, just one more. This is our final pack. I don't even care what we get. It's our final one. Just shake for me and make me at least happy. Shake. No, it's not. What is that? An emerald? I, bro, Jalen Duran? No, look, when we get a dunk Toba player, it's the end. This is just wasting MT. I had so much MT before this, and now I'm just wasting MT to try and get this pink diamond pool. I know I'll be able to afford a pink diamond player if I need to, but that's what, Andre Miller. I guess I can just say I'm adding these players towards my collection, but now, th is this the final pack right here with a shake, with the nothing, with a emerald once again? Who is it? James Harden. Okay, I'm joking. If this isn't a Dunktober player, I'm still ending it on this one. I don't want to spend too much MT on these packs because they are frustrating me. The fact that we cannot see a single shake. It's an emerald in the middle. I should have stopped before. It's Miles Bridges, it's Emerald. We we finished the same way we started. Oh, and we're just going to end off with this. I guess we pulled, what, two diamonds in this pack opening in 900,000 VC. Is that good? The answer is no. The answer is absolutely no. We get a gold here. And guess what? We're ending it on Thanasis on Tentacupo. Bro, why is my pack luck so bad? Can someone please tell me? Give me things to do for pack luck. I need whatever you guys do. Because getting Kenyon Martin is a W, I guess. But in 900,000 VC, you expect something like that. I guess we pulled a couple of Dominic Wilkins. who sells for a bit of MT because of the exchange. But yeah, still, I don't really know what to say. Do I recommend you guys open up the packs? Obviously not. With those odds, it's just not great. But hopefully you guys have some better luck if you do. Be sure to smash that like button, subscribe for new followers. Follow me on TikTok, Twitter, and Instagram, and that's pretty much it. I'll catch you guys in my next video. Bye.